Um, but one of the things they've asked for is, is a little bit better interface, you know, something a little bit more specific for that product line. And, and what they would have needed to do last year was have somebody, you know, very much unlike myself that had visual basic knowledge to go through and create something uh, like this form. Yes, the leaf's looking at me funny, like, what the hell, Rob? Why, why can't you do something that simple? I can't, right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a CAD guy, right? Now, with 2011, though, we have, uh, we've added this thing called the form editor. Now, so guys like me, guys that are, you know, largely CAD, CAD guys can go through here and, and make really nice looking uh, and relevant forms. So let's go ahead and add an image to this form. And basically all I'm doing is drag and dropping my iLogic rules. So I can say base one config here, and rather than it being a combo box, maybe I need it to be something more like a radio grid. So as a designer, when I hit this, it automatically pops up and I get, I get all the options. You know, same here with, uh, with this one. So rather than renaming it, you've seen me rename it. Uh, you're not impressed by my typing skills. So I'll just go ahead and add a couple more. So let's add a tab group. Let's make this a little bit more logical here. So I'll just drag these down into the tab and then, uh, you know, add another tab group here to the form and grab my railing configuration rules and bring those into tab two. So just that quickly and easily, I've created a tabbed form that my users can go through just a ton of information in a really easy to use, easy to understand dialog box so that they can make the appropriate configurations of this iLogic driven assembly. Now, once you spend you know, a little bit more time on it, and believe you me, um, not much more time, uh, you can go through here and you can see it, you know, the one that I've spent just a little bit more time on. So I've got tower and rails, swing configuration, and all of the options here that, uh, that I can go through. And I have three kids, so why would I, have a t why would I buy a, um, a, a play set with, uh, with two swings? Because believe me, my kids will fight over it. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to a three station. You get a nice little image. And again, all I did was drag and drop those images over, all right? Uh, some ad additional options. Let's go ahead and throw a, a slide out to the right-hand side here. And really, the form editor, we believe, is, is, is going to further enable our customers to take more advantage of the power with iLogic, all right? So I've, I've made a nice little, a little assembly here. 